Hey everyone, this is PhD Natural Me, and today I am getting together the coconut chicken curry. Now, I'm going to point down here and show you what I have real quick. Okay, I have six pieces of chicken thighs, and I couldn't find any with the skin on, so I just have the skin off chicken, my crock pot, my utensils, and the packet. Whoops. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do. I am going to, since I have six pieces and I thought I was going to have eight, they will each be, if just using this and the chicken, it will be five, a little under five and a half grams per serving. So this is what you will need. What I will need first are glasses. Okay, so it has the coconut chicken curry sauce. It has the ginger and garlic paste, coconut curry spice pack. And what you need is the chicken. Coconut milk is optional. And this says rice, but we're not using rice. The instructions are for you to coat the chicken, sear the pieces, and simmer. I'm not doing that. I'm going to put everything in the crock pot get it going and then you'll see the end result but I'll let you see me put this all together Ta -da! okay Washed as well. Lid on. I'm going to leave it on low. Set it back here. And I'll let you see the finished product when it's done. I can show you this is actually what I'm going to serve the chicken with. So it'll feel like uh, mashed potatoes. This is mashed cauliflower by Hanover. And what I like is it's just cauliflower, water, butter, cream, salt, and white pepper. And it does say con contains milk, but that's okay. It is, for a half a cup, you get two, it's two grams of carbohydrates. So I think that's awesome. So you can have five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half. I don't like to go too much more than seven and a half total carbohydrates in a meal. So this will be perfect. And I can have a little bit of a salad if I want a little bit less of this or, mmm. So. Mash cauliflower. I'll be back. Okay, I am back. And here it is. Let me turn this down so you can see it. Ooh. Set this up over here for the moment. You see? I'm afraid to tip. Let me tip this down a little bit more. Down. Okay, here we go. It smells wonderful. Ooh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Beware of cords in your kitchen. Okay, so what I said I was going to do was use the cauliflower, but what I ended up doing is using asparagus that I had left over. So I have 
60 grams of asparagus. I love this weighing grams. And I have 60 grams of tomato. I did not put the, let me see, I didn't put the coconut milk in it, but for it to be creamier, definitely would do coconut. And it, I tasted the sauce and it's spicy. So, if you like spice, and I think this is my, my other little piece that fell off of my chicken thigh, so this is mine. Put my tomato on. I want more juice. I left my non-slotted spoon somewhere. Might be outside. So I'm using my measuring cup. <laughs> I'm pour this over that. A little bit over my asparagus. There's that hot piece. And there you have it. Yum! Stay healthy. Keep eating keto. Bye.